Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And a special thanks and shout out to the Patreons that help support this channel. Much appreciated. And if you would like to consider becoming a Patreon, the link is below. And today we're going to have a special guest. Henry the cat, you haven't seen him for a while. <laughs> Last time you saw him, he was a kitten. And he's he's still technically a kitten. He's he's um kind of he's going on 10 months old and he's big and Hazel is sleeping upstairs somewhere. So Henry's just going to probably sleep in my lap while I do this uh quick little review of the Boonahabin 12 cash strength. 2022 batch two versus Buna Haben 12 cash strength 2021 batch one batch two the newest one 2022 is 56.6% ABV and the 2021 cash strength is 55.1 percent both non-chill filtered no coloring added and you're going to be saying to yourself john didn't you just do this this is like deja vu all over again well yeah i did i did a blind um summation including the uh an older bunahaben 18 um but i just want to kind of uh Put the put the baby in the bathtub, <laughs> throw the throw the bath water out with the uh, with the baby, and put put the uh, put everything to rest. Um, not much has changed. Um, nothing really has changed. But I just felt I needed to do a, a formal uh, rev review on this. Um, some of the more well established channels are saying that the twenty twenty two newest release release is epic um, and giving it rave reviews and it is good they're both good Buna Haben 12 46.3 percent the core range is very good um, when I first from my experience okay when I first opened the Buna Haben 12 2022 the newest one the neck pour If I was to rate this just on that neck pour, the neck pour blew me away. On the neck pour, if you told me that was Buna Haben 25 year old, I would have believed you. It had reminiscence of a little bit of that Craig Allocky 23 year old, that, that musty, uh, you know, bookstore, uh, dank, a, a little sulfurous that, uh, the mustiness um that was all there and i would have if i just re reviewed this as a neck pour easily it would have been in, in the low 90s 92 or a 93 but once it's opened up and, and oxidized a little bit it's everything has settled down and hints of my first experience are there but they're not there and a similar thing happened the only other time it's ever happened really with me where where the neck pour was a masterpiece was believe it or not the art bag scorch the neck pour in that if i was to rate that right out of the gate same thing i would have been a, a 92 easy um it was a masterpiece but then it just settled right down and um and the art bag really had diminishing returns as the bottle went down um that's not i'm not saying that's the case with this um but i just want to give you a reference point and also too um okay the 2021 is in my left hand which would be your right and the 2022 is in my right hand your left there is a noticeable co color difference okay the 2022 is noticeably darker than the 2021 okay um 
and why I personally don't put a lot of stock into official tasting notes is because I'm not even going to read all the tasting. I'm not going to read any of the tasting notes, but on the can for the 2021, they list color as a deep russet gold. Whereas in the, in the newer 2022, they, they list the color as just russet gold. And they're really just the opposite. Um, the 2022 is a deep russet gold and the 2021 is more of a light russet gold. Um, the, the, the glass levels are not very high in this, but if you, if you put a little bit more on the glass and hold it up to the light, noticeably the 2022 is darker. So I think also to the 2022 has a little bit more sherry influence and possibly a, a little bit more age in there, okay? Uh, as we know, legally, for them to call it a 12-year-old, the youngest whiskey can, can has to be 12 years old. There can be older malt in here. In my opinion, the 2022 is maybe a combination of a little more sherry barrels and possibly a couple of casks of, of older stock that are in there. Um, whereas the 2021, I think, maybe has just a little less sherry in it. Okay. Um, all right. So the 2021 compared to the 2022. On the nose, the 2021 first release of the cast strength so much of a more prominent nose big time um the nose is is pronounced on the on the old on the first version 2021 it's brighter it's fruitier um, hints of french toast in there even though these are non-peated is a hint of that peat funk that's in there even if it's only one or two percent a little bit of honey but the nose is a standout um Compared to the 2022, the 2022 nose is very subdued. Okay, 2021, I've already reviewed a full review of the 2021, so please check that out. Again, on the palate, reflects the nose. Bright, crisp, fruit, refreshing. The finish, I would say, is a medium, whereas the finish on the 2022 is medium to medium long. This 2021, it's creamy, viscous, oily, mouth coating, of course. And when both these glasses are empty and you do the nose at the very end, the 2021, you get a pronounced uh, buttered popcorn, okay, on on the nose of this whereas the 2022 when it's empty you get like a hint of vanilla that was in there but but not much okay we're here for the review of the 2022 all right again the nose is is way more subdued um and also too you, you get a hint of acetone in there whereas i don't pick up the acetone in the 2021 On the nose, you're definitely getting uh, that older sherry um, sensation, for sure. On the palate. I'm going to take another sip, kind of cleanse it from the first one here. And we're going to do this. So the 2022 in the palette, it's o it's only um, 1.4 percent higher in ABV. So the 2022 is 56.6, but it does drink a little bit hotter. Um, you wouldn't think there'd be that much of a difference, but there is. 
you're getting uh, that acetone is there a little bit of that acetone is there you're definitely picking up the darker sherry notes um, a hint of sulfur um, it does taste older you've got a little bit of that that mustiness in there um, maybe a, just a hint, a hint of vanilla and the finish medium long um, so like I said in the previous review with the blind tasting um, for my enjoyment I prefer the 2021 the first batch of the Buna Haben 12 cast strength um, which when I reviewed this I gave it a, a, a range between 88 and 90 and I'll still stick with that um, on, any, on any given day your palate might change a little bit that's definitely within the 88 to 90 range and the last review um, I rated the the newer 2022 as an 87 and I'm going to stick with that you know you I could be give it you know say 87 to 88 but I'm if push came to shove I, you know it's 87 to 88 but I'm going to stick with the 87 and the first year for me is more like an 88 to 89 um, again they're both good they're both noticeably different um, but definitely in the the Buna Haben 12 uh, range um, and these re these both retail for about $90 between $85 $90 um, in that range whereas you can get the core range Buna Haben 12 46.3% ABV for about $60 everywhere. So for all your anoraks out there, I don't think you need to have any fear of missing out, even though um, the 2022 is really getting um, hyped up. Um, it, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's very good. But for me, I prefer the 2021. Um, if you'd like to see a more detailed, and this is where the synchronicity comes in, check out J uh, Whiskey Jason just did the same exact review. He does more of a deep dive into the tasting notes and he references Buna Haben's website. Um, watch his take on this. Um, I think he did a, 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 great, a great job on it. Um, so that's it. That's... Uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I hope you liked it today. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Consider becoming a Patreon to make shows like this possible to continue on. And thank you very much to all my Patreons. So this is the first time I've mixed the two. Um, just a quick little way to exit out here, right? Um, interesting, yeah. It, it is, you're getting a combo. I'm getting more, m much more French toast, which I get from a, a sherry. So the sherry on the nose is, is way much more pronounced now. I'll tell you, I, I like uh, on the nose. I, <laughs> um, what's the old saying? Um, the sum of its parts. Uh, I think this is it. Let's see on the palate how this does. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's the ticket, folks. So if you do have... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. That is what's happening. I didn't add any water to this. Oh, my God. These two combined for this is the first time on camera. Uh, wow. Um, so maybe you do have to go out and hunt these down and, and mix them half and half. Holy crap, Batman. Um, that combination right there is over a 90. Um, yes. Uh, so, oh my God. You, just, you saw it here live on camera, folks. You pour half and half, and wow. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a magnificent experience in here, and I, I can't wait to... Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to have a little sip again right here. Mm. 
masterpiece masterpiece you saw it here first folks um check out whiskey jason's review he did he just did it today um i was planning on doing it before his his came out first anyway it's all good um wow <laughs> hats off to you all and take care folks